the, the idea of love languages. That's also from Sheikh Yasser bin Jassar, I remember learning it. But the, the idea of love languages is that people speak or communicate love in different ways, and everybody does. And the love languages are five. They're giving gifts, they're words of affirmation, they are uh, physical touch, they're acts of service, and they're quality time, so these five. Now some people, their, their love language is acts of service, and that could be and you'll find that in the people that you necessarily love, they're people who communicate in your love language a lot. And so acts of service will be somebody, you, you go to your mom. Your, your love language is physical touch. And so you're always trying to give your mom a hug. And you're like, mom, I, I love you. And she's like, if you loved me, you would take out the trash. Right? So what she's communicating is that her, her love language is acts of service. You don't love me. You're just coming here and trying to touch me. <laughs> like, wash the dishes, vacuum the house. And then you go and you take out the trash, for example. Or you just go and you, and you vacuum the living room. And you might find your mom coming up to you and doing what? Giving you a hug, right? Because now you've communicated in her language. A lot of people, unfortunately, they only try to communicate in their language, not paying attention to what the language is of the person that you're trying to speak to. So for some people, the fact that you just went somewhere and you got them a gift, and it could be the smallest, most insignificant gift, and you might not like gifts, but when you go and bring them a gift, it might be the world to them. Or the fact that you're sitting down because their gift is quality time and you're just undivided attention, no phone, and you're having a conversation with them in a car. That might be so valuable to them. And for some, it might be words of affirmation, some encouragement, some praise. So learning people, and, and this isn't just with romantic relationships or your spouse, but if you learn this, you'll be able to implement it even in your family or other people as well. The, is it, uh, it's uh, the fang Five Languages of Love, right? Yeah, by Gary Chaplin. It's, it's really good, really good. Like, if you didn't catch the point, Amar may just get that book because it's very, very important. Which language is your favorite? <laughs> Silence. <laughs> <laughs> That's the quality time. <laughs> That's quality, personal quality time. <laughs> just you kidding, know, just kidding. Uh,